One million people hit the streets of Barcelona today demanding independence and the release of politicians in jail as well as the return of those in exile. Hello and welcome to Catalan News. For the seventh year in a row, independent supporters took to the streets en masse on their national day to demand independence. This time in a very different political backdrop, with nine politicians in jail and seven in exile. We'll tell you all about today's events in a special edition, with all the images and all perspectives of the story. It's always colourful, massive and peaceful, and it was again today. One million people hit the streets of Barcelona to demand Catalonia be free from Spain. Waving the Catalan independence flag and banners calling for the release of jailed leaders, demonstrators managed to fill up to six kilometres of Diagonal Avenue in Barcelona, one of the biggest roads of the city. The demonstration aimed at publicising Catalonia's political situation to the wider world and foreign lawyers took part alongside civil society activists. No digueu ara que allò no era un referèndum, que hem d'implorar permisos que no arribaran mai. I us parlo en nom d'en Jordi Cuixart, un home orgullós de ser un pres polític si això serveix per defensar els drets i les llibertats fonamentals. To Catalonia, to Catalonia I say, you have the mandate, you have the ideas, the dreams, the people power, and you are on the right side of history. The day started early for many, with buses and cars from all around Catalonia coming to Barcelona in time for the rally. Our colleague Rachel Bathgate has been on the street all day, and this is her account of today's demonstration. It all started in the morning. For some, earlier than others, as thousands boarded buses from all over the country, all headed towards Barcelona for this year's National Day. By midday, people were preparing for the long day ahead and having lunch. All to participate in this year's protest in support of self-determination, a staple for La Diada, Catalonia's National Day. Each year, the civil society in charge of organizing the protest distributes shirts to wear. For 2018, a bright shade of pink, depicting Catalonia's push for independence as an uphill mountain path. The atmosphere was festive, with music and drumming heard all down Diagonal, one of Barcelona's main avenues on which the demonstration took place. Castells, Catalan human towers, were built throughout the protest. One of this year's controversial topics, yellow ribbons in support of those in prison or exile, were hung up all down the route. This was in tune with this year's key theme, solidarity with officials incarcerated and abroad. Then, the big moment. Every year, a theme for the protest in support of self-determination is carried out in choreography. This year, a sound wave running down Diagonal. About a million people, almost completely silent. And then... Immediately following this year's National Day choreography, a sound wave which saw many, many people fall silent and then cheering the energy, as you can see behind me, is still high with people waving Catalan independence flags, the Estelada and chanting mainly freedom for political prisoners while demanding that Catalonia be an independent state. People of all ages have come out today and we've spoken to some of them to see just why they're here. But this year, especially because we have uh, people who is uh, in jail. Because it's an injustice from Spain's government. So we are here to ask for freedom of Catalonia. Uh, I'm here to stand by the Catalan people, in support of the Catalan people. In Europe, it can't be possible to be people in jail for political ideas, for political reasons because it seems to me incredible that nowadays uh, political people are in prison jail just for their political ideas. So I'm here for claiming the freedom, actually. The one million strong demonstration today was organized by civil society groups such as the Catalan National Assembly and Omnium Cultural. But Catalonia's National Day was also celebrated at the institutional level, although not without controversy. The authorities kicked off the National Day 
with the traditional floral tribute to the last Catalan leader before the country lost its sovereignty in 1714 in the War of the Spanish Succession. The main pro-independence parties were there, along with Barcelona Mayor's Party, non-aligned on the national issue, and the Socialists, the only unionist party to take part in the floral tribute. The country's main social, cultural and sports organisations also joined the annual event, in which the complex political situation was the main issue of discussion. Yet the institutional events had actually started the night before, and, as in today's demonstration, the issue of the jail leaders played a key role. It began with a march that included the country's main political figures, the President and the Parliament Speaker, who carried a lantern from the chamber to the government HQ. The metaphor behind the march was bringing light to the executive's headquarters after months of the darkness of direct rule. After the march had arrived in San Jaume Square, a concert began with songs related to the idea of freedom. Some well-known Catalan bands and artists played, including the iconic anti-Franco activist and singer Luis Llach. During the event, handwritten texts defining freedom by the jailed leaders were read out. The voices of the exiled officials were also heard reading famous quotes on the same topic. Despite the Catalan executive defending the events, they were bitterly criticised by the unionist parties, which did not attend. They said they should have been neutral as they had been organised by the government. Instead, the main unionist party in the chamber, Ciutadans, organised a parallel event whose motto was, Love is much stronger than hate. So what did political parties have to say about today's events? Here it is. La Diada Nacional serveix per això, per gaudir-la amb democràcia, amb pau i amb civisme. Evidentment no és una Diada Nacional normal, és una Diada excepcional perquè tenim presos polítics, tenim exiliats polítics. Que abandonin tota esperança, que tot el que han fet de, per reprimir-nos, per decapitar-nos, per liquidar-nos, per espantar-nos, tingui l'efecte que busquen de desmobilitzar o desanimar. Catalunya eh, ho tindrà molt difícil per recuperar la normalitat política, per no d'impossible, i serà impossible desbloquejar la situació amb l'Estat mentre aquestes persones estiguin a la presó. El referèndum que s'anomena pactat és una utopia racionària, és un engany. No es pot fer. Bueno, s'ha de recordar que amb un estat de dret i de separació de poders no se li pot demanar a un govern que posi o no una persona en llibertat. Jo el que demanaria, si volem sincerament aquest diàleg, és que no posem condicions que el facin impossible. No s'obliden dels milions de catalans que avui no sortiran al carrer, que són tan catalans, tan demòcrates i es mereixen tant de respecte com els que sí que sortiran en aquesta manifestació independentista. La meva pregunta al president de la Generalitat és quan ell en el seu discurs fa una crida a la resistència, suposo que es deu estar referint a la resistència d'aquells catalans que ens sentim espanyols. This has been a national day like no other in the past decades. It's the first September 11th with Catalan political leaders in jail or in exile since the end of the dictatorship in Spain. The peak tension between Catalonia and Spain was probably last year, but now the political situation is as complex as 12 months ago. Raids in some 20 Catalan government buildings to halt the referendum last September the 20th. The October the 1st vote and 1,000 people injured at the hands of the Spanish police. The declaration of independence, the immediate suspension of Catalonia's self-rule by Madrid, the incarceration of the referendum organizers accused of rebellion, the exile of others, the pro-independence majority winning in the December 21st election, the failed extradition requests, and in June, the formation of new governments in both Catalonia and Spain. These are just some of the events that occurred between September the 11th, 2017, and today. Now the peak tension between Catalonia and Spain may have subsided, but probably only temporarily. Both governments have engaged in dialogue with the second meeting between Kim Torra and Pedro Sánchez expected in October. But while the Catalan head has an agreed referendum on self-determination as main priority, his Spanish counterpart is flatly rejecting it. Spain's Congress speaker has offered President Torra to speak in the chamber. But if he does accept, what he might say has a slim chance to convince Madrid. The main backdrop of Catalan politics now is the jailed and exiled leaders. It looks like there won't be a significant move by any side until the trial for some 20 leaders, some of whom are being prosecuted for rebellion, which can carry up to 30 years in prison.
Spain's prosecutor wants to keep the rebellion charges against the prosecuted leaders and also wants to accuse the former Catalan police leadership of the same, say some reports. The verdict might not come until next spring, coinciding with the local and European election. This might heat up the tension again, but in the meantime, this autumn will be one of remembrance of last October's unprecedented events. While this autumn may be intense in the political field again, what is clear is that Catalans, both in favour and against independence, have been politically very much engaged in the last few years. Catalans in favour of independence took to the streets en masse in 2012, the first big independence march. 2013, when they did a human chain from north to south of the country, in 2014, when almost two million took part, and yet again in 2015 and 2016 and last year. And this increase in mobilisation also prompted unionist groups in favour of Spain to increase their presence in the streets, led by parties such as Ciudadans, which have gained political ground and become more visible, especially since last year. And with this, we finish today's show. We leave you with some images of today's events. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.